falling everywhere <laughs> to do this style of bear so we're changing color palettes a little bit just for something different so we're going to start the same way at the top of the head We're still going to be using single crochets. I'm still using the same hook and same as before, mostly medium weighted yarn, but a mix of a little bit of thinner ones. So we'll do the same thing that we have been this whole time. Chaining three, slip stitch to join, chaining one, then doing two single crochets per stitch. Since this one's head's a little bit bigger, I kept increasing I don't know why I didn't finish that sentence. I kept increasing for about the first five rows. So right now I've got about if you think of it as like a spiral, it's kind of like almost, almost three go-arounds. We'll do a few more. I'm just about getting to the point I can tell where it's going to start wrinkling up on me. So I would say at about row three, three rounds, start doing two single crochet stitches and then doing the increase on the third so we do one two and then we increase a lot of this is kind of just trial and error until you get exactly what you like. I've made a lot of these, this specific kind um, of bear like as gifts and each one is probably just a little bit different. Okay I've got my five go arounds being five rows so now I'm just gonna switch to doing one single crochet in each one around until I get to like the widest part of the head. So for this guy, that's about like six to seven more rows. Okay, so now I'm ready to start decreasing again. So I want this to become kind of a gradual decline into the neck. So I'm going to keep doing this every three until the neck is as narrow as I like it to be. And then I will do two rows without decreasing any to be the neck. So now that we've got this funny little bulb for the head, we're gonna get started on the shoulders and we want this to kind of shoot out pretty quickly from here. So I'm gonna do a couple rows of increasing every other stitch, just so that that fans out. All right, so now we've got a nice little collar going here. So to get like a really gradual shape to like the shoulders and the body, I'm just gonna start increasing 
every 10 stitches and I'm just going to keep doing that around until the body is gets to the widest point where I want it to be. So now I'm going to stop increasing and just keep single crocheting all the way around until the body is as long as I want. That's going to be about 12 more rows before we'll decrease again to finish it out. Okay, we've got the body here and now we're ready to go ahead and do the bottom and since I like these to be able to sit we want the bottom to be nice and flat so from this point I'm going to do two rows where we decrease every five two rows where we decrease every four and then we're just going to start decreasing every other one until it's closed up. Once I get to about here, then I'll close it off as much as I can and then just stuff the last little bit in there. Okay, so now I'm just about through. The hole is like the size of a quarter. So this is where I start just slip stitching every other stitch until it's closed. And then the body will be finished. Just like last time, you can kind of mush it around if you need to. I might have overstuffed the head a little bit, but I can kind of mold that into a more cylindrical shape. Okay, now we're ready to do the arms and the legs. I've got one of each done already here. Because we're doing the scrap yarn, there's the color change already happening so I think I'm just gonna leave it at that but if you're doing a plain color all I did for these was just make a circle that I stitched on top of it afterwards so that's up to you but I think I'm just gonna leave it like this because they basically look the same so for the leg we're gonna start our circle like we normally would And we're going to do our increase in every stitch. If you want this size, I did um, until you end up with 40 stitches around. Once I've stopped increasing at the 40 stitches, I'm just going to do one single crochet in each for about five rows. Okay, so now we're going to start decreasing, and we're going to decrease in every other stitch so that it kind of slopes a little bit more subtly from the foot to the leg. So we're going to decrease every other stitch until we get down to 26 stitches. Now that we're down to our 26 stitches, we're just going to single crochet in each for about seven more rows. Okay, so this is what the foot looks like obviously if you want the leg to be a little longer you can go longer than that then the last thing I do is chain one and actually do one half row of single crochets because since we're going to attach these to a body that's round having a little bit of extra yarn will kind of help 
it sit nicer against the curve of its body. Then for the arm, it's the same process, just smaller. So you're going to start the exact same way and increase every stitch until you reach 27 stitches. So it's 27 stitches around. Then after you stop increasing, you're going to do your five rows again. Then decrease every other one until you get down to 22 stitches. And then do five rows for the arm. And then the same thing where you chain one and turn and do half of your row across. Okay, so for the ears, they're basically the same as for the other bear, but this time instead of doing one row of double crochets, I did two rows of singles. That actually makes them just a smidge bigger. And just like the feet, uh, well, I guess they're all paws, but um, for this bear, I did the second layer of a different color but it's a little hard to tell on here, but this is a different color than the outside, so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that. So this is the back of the next ear. And then just same as last time, we'll do our three. slip stitch, chain one, and then instead of going around, you're going to turn and do two single crochets in each stitch. Don't make them too tight, otherwise you can't get your hook through. Chain one and turn again, and then do two more in each of these. Then instead of trimming this end, I will just go ahead and match it up with the other side and just slip stitch these together. Then I'll be ready to just put a little bit of stuffing inside of each one and then stitch them on top of its head. Alright, so we've got arms and legs on, ears on. The last thing we have to crochet is the nose. Now, I did this one a little bit differently so that his nose can be more of an oval. So instead of just going straight to a circle, I actually chain four, then chain one more, and do a row single crochets and then now we're going to start doing a circle around this. So I will start by kind of going back into this original chain and we're also going to start increasing. So I'm going to do two single crochets into every stitch and I'm just going across, oops, going across the bottom 
that original row. And I'm just going to keep going around, increasing until I've got between like 22 to 26 stitches, depending on how big you want the nose to be. Okay, so now I'm just going to go one single crochet in each until it starts to curl up like it's doing and then I will just keep going until the snout is as long as I want it to be. I'll probably do about two more, two to three more rows after this one. Okay, now that it's long, as long as I want it to be, I'm just going to slip stitch to kind of smooth it out a little bit. Then for the nose, you can do this before or after you stuff it and sew it on, but I think it's easier to do it before. So I'm just going to grab a yarn needle. Okay, I've picked my color. Probably won't need this much, but we're just going to cut it off anyway. And then I'm going to take, that's not the right yarn needle. My darning needle, and just how we embroidered on the first pair, the nose, we're going to do the same process, but I did a different style of nose, pick which end is up. And I'm just doing like the classic like wider at the bottom. No, wider at the top, skinnier at the bottom kind of thing. Just make as many passes as you want until it looks like this. Then you can stuff it and stitch it on and find some buttons for eyes or do the same eyes as last time. So I'll finish all this up and then show you what it looks like when it's finished. All right, he's all done. I went with some mismatched eyes on this one. It's a little hard to tell. This one's like a dark, this one's like a dark purple and this one's more brown just to kind of go with the theme. I really like how this color palette turned out too. I think it looks really cute. I think the only thing I would have done differently, I didn't realize it until it was kind of after the fact because this one is a little bit more disguised but I think when I switched colors here I would have done a slip stitch to kind of round that off so that it didn't just end abruptly I don't think it looks that bad but it's just something I would probably do differently in the future bring the other one back in so they can be friends so now we've got our leftover scrap yarn crochet bears. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please tag me if you make versions of these of your own. I would love to see them. If you like this video and you want to see more from me, feel free to subscribe. I post videos two to three times a month. Thanks so much for watching this one and I'll see you next time.